Hello friends, and welcome back to PixArt 101, your crash course for PixArt Web. Today we're going to be diving into the world of templates, so let's make a splash. Alright, so we're on our homepage here. Uh, we're doing templates, so you see this template section down here with couple of these right here. You can actually click the arrow and scroll through a couple designs if you see something you like immediately, or you can go to the see all section, click into that. Bunch of different use cases here, everything from a wedding invitation or even just a, a post for your small business. In this case, we wanna make a workshop poster. So we'll type poster into the search bar. You see, we're gonna scroll down to see something that we like. I think this one works here. Let's start with that template. We click in, it'll bring us into the already laid out template. You can see that there's a bunch of different layers that you can choose from that have already been designed. Very easy to adjust or replace anything that you would like. So let's click on the photo layer here. Uh, like we said, we wanted to do a photography poster. So let's click into our photo section. You know, probably want a camera image. So we'll search for a camera. See something that we like, that is a cool image. Super easy right here, just make sure you have the photo layer selected and then when you click the photo that you want, it should just replace automatically. Now you still have the ability to drag the photo size up, size down, however you want. This just makes it easy because it replaces the photo for you immediately in the layout. All right, so now that we have the photo done, I like to work from the lowest layer up with when I'm doing these designs. So the next one would be this transparent box that we have here. Uh, the color doesn't really match the photo. So to adjust that, let's go up to the little color selector here in our toolbar. You can pick from the preset colors here or have kind of free range of colors with the slider here. I like to click the little eyedropper tool and pick my color from the photo. So that way it just feels a little bit more like a cohesive design. Why didn't it do that for me? Let's try that again. That way it just feels like it's more cohesive with the design. Everything feels like it should be with each other. It, it all matches. Next step here would then be editing our text. Uh, you can either click on, on the layer over here on the um, layers section, or you can just click on the type directly on the design. In our case, we want to do photography workshop. Uh, and also super easy, you see how the bounding box was small, so the type uh, the type stacked. You can actually just click that, grab this little slider here, slide it out, super easy. That way you can adjust the type to one line. And now when we want to adjust our type, see how I have the type layer selected, go up here to the adjust, click on font. That gives us the ability to change any type of fonts that we want. In this case, I like this sans serif. So let's click back. This is the headline though, so I, I like to just add a little bit of uh, creating hierarchy in it. So I'll click bold. That just makes this pop more. Photography workshop, probably will need to add what time it, it's at. So let's say Tuesday night at 7 p.m. And this completely real address that I'm using, fake address road, seems very legit. Now, you know, again, with hierarchy here, maybe we want to decrease the size just so that they're not competing with each other. So highlight the size selector here, 138. Let's go down to 115. Kind of just make those sizes different. Now, if you have your own personal brand and you want to add a logo to this layout, really make it feel cohesive in like your company, we can go to upload. Click on our logo, it's a transparent PNG. Upload it here, Get that one. Cool, we've got a logo, click in. In this case, it's Snap, a completely real photography company. Very clever name as well. Oh, just drag that. If you ever have a mistake too, you can always just press Command Z or Control Z, I believe. So let's size down our logo here. Put that in there, maybe a little bit smaller so it doesn't compete. Drag in, maybe put our logo here in the lower right, helps with the balance. But then there you have it. You've got your photography workshop from a pre-made template. When we're ready, let's go up to export. 
Let's name this Photography Workshop. We've got the J JPEG file size. If it's a little too big, we can always size it down. In this case, I think we're okay. Click download and we are good to go. All right, y'all, that's it for today. And thank you for tuning in. I hope that I gave you a template for your success. See you later.